oh, this is overpriced. I don't get it. Who wants to pay 1500 on this one? Holy. Hi guys. Today we are ranking all clock 18 CS2 skins. Let's get started. All right. The first skin is from Kilowatt Case or newest clock block 18. I kind of like it. Like a Lego vibes here. It's cool, but not on the S tier, to be honest. It's a bit above a mid. And that's why we are going to put block 18 to B tier. Good start. On a second skin, we have a ground water. This is kind of clean on good condition. Not trash at all kind of pouring to be honest and that's why we are going to put ground water to see here is a sacrifice to be honest this is so boring skin not any good colors just some cd diffusing this is not for me at all and that's why we are going to put sacrifice to the tier next up we have blue fisher this skin have cool colors combined nice textures around the skin and for me this is a good budget opinion for clock skin and this is why this is kind of hard for me to put on a or b tier but let's put it on top b tier next we have high beam on cs2 this is pretty good looking skin because the lights can shine so bright on it but the bottom part of the skin is so boring because there is basically nothing and that's why we're going to put high beam on a C tier so we have sand dune here this is also on the same category as a ground water this is clean but so boring this is like dust to veteran kind of skin but I'm gonna say it's cleaner than ground water and that's why it's gonna go Top C tier. Up. Now we have a uh, clock 18 press. This is only good skin if you have case hardened knife with the cold pattern on it. So boring and unclean as you can see here. And the only reason why I'm gonna put this on C tier is if you have case hardened cold pattern. Now we have awful skin to be honest. Iron work, bottom so boring, nothing here. And the top looks like a flip side of the coin, where there is some patterns on those. This is awful skin. And that is the reason why iron work is going to bottom T tier. Now we have first good looking skin. This is fun, colorful, playful, you name it. And that's why we have first a tier skin and let's continue with the first red skin we have a bullet queen this is cool looking skin the drawings here are so nice and for me this is one of my favorite skins on o'clock 18 but this is not s tier skin for me but definitely better than snack attack so bullet queen is second a tier skin Skin. Next one, we have Moonrise. For me, this is good looking skin. You can build good combos with this clock. And I like the like line here where the city starts with the skyscrapers here. But this is not top tier skin for me, but definitely top B tier at this point of this list. We have almost 10 years old skin here steel disruption this is old school i kind of like the dd pat vibe here but for me this is also boring skin that's why we're going to put this on a c tier good old school skin. next we have one of the most awful skins on clock 18 on this game bunsen burner if you like flames this is for you but for others this is no go i don't know anyone who likes this skin and that's why we have first skin on the trash category Next up we have our second red skin 
neo noir. Personally, I'm not bit big fan of neo noir skins, but this is kind of good looking, but not top tier for me. That's why I'm gonna put neo noir on top of B tier now. Next up, we have a scient leaf, or however you pronounce it. This is kind of cool skin. I like the colors, like red wine red, <laughs> dark red, but yeah, okay skin, not too flashy. That's why we are going to put a shint leaf on solid B tier. And next, we have one of my favorite clock skins in the game. This is just simple, but I like the red a lot here. Candy apple. I like all candy apple skins in this games. I don't know why, but it's just it's so clean. And some of you, this might be a little bit controversial, but for me, this is so close to A tier, but I have to say top tier, top B tier skin. So, so clean and with the good sticker combo, that is absolutely banger skin. And let's continue with the simple skins. Clock 18, night. This is also cool looking skin and with the right combo. This is so good. Simple, clean. And that's why we are going to put this, the B tier, right middle of Neonor and Moonlight. Good, basic, simple skin. And next we have first like a rare clock skin, Twilight Galaxy. This is so cool. The color of top of this pistol is so clean and on CS2 it's so shiny. I like this a lot. This is definitely top tier skin. And that's why this is hard for me because I really want to put this on a S tier, but even A tier or top of A tier is right place for this. Ah, oh, this is so hard. I put this on top of A tier. And next up we have Glock Catacombs. Yeah, boring gray skulls on the top. This is not good looking for me. And I think you can't even do any crazy sticker craft with this skin, so so that's why Catacombs is going to bottom of the D tier. For next skin, we have a nuclear garden. Green vibe here fit well with the green combo loadout. But I don't know. <laughs> I s smell here a waste kinda because the color is so bright and there is also better option coming later on this video if you are building a green loadout and that's why we are going to put nuclear card and on quite bottom of B tier and next we have Umbral Rabbit. I kind of like this skin. The idea and concept of this, like uh, houses from China or somewhere Asia. This, uh, those are cool. Sun maybe there, but the rabbit, I don't know. This is okay mid. Colors are a little bit boring. Yeah, yeah, and that's why we are going to put Umbrel Rabbit to top of C tier. 
and we are halfway through on this tier list. Next, we have a clear polymer. I don't know. This is boring. Yeah, it's kind of fun. There's bullets on the clips. It's like uh, see-through, but this is boring and actually not good looking. And that's why we have next D tier skin. And next we have off a world, another boring skin with the boring color. And this is important because in CS2 skin like this, there's not any like shining effects what are crazy in this game. And that's why I'm gonna put this on D tier also. And next up we have a Vod, Vod, Vod. I don't know how to pronounce this either, but I like the colors. It's cool, it's kind of simple. We have beautiful eyes, but also with this skin, there's not any shining elements of this. And if you have this long period of time, this will get you bored for sure. And that's why we are going to put this on a proper B tier. And next we have Dead Rattle. This is just trash. And that's why this is going to be on bottom of the trash tier. And again, another Blaze skin. Oxide place this time. I don't know why somebody wants flames in their pistol. This is so same type of skin as a Bunsen burner. So boring. This is almost the same, but much worse color. And that's why we have another dress here skin. And next we have War Hawk. Um, yeah, this give me like car guy wipes because uh, you have this uh, like mouth here. Somebody put maybe that kind of uh, sticker on the front corners bumpers on their car. So <laughs> this is such a red flag skin if you have this and that's why we are going to put warhawk on the tier and now we have a real old school skin of course color colors here are boring but i like the tattoo vibe here but it's slightly boring but you Gotta respect if somebody have a dragon tattoo clock, because the like age of this skin is like I don't know 15 years, something like that. Maybe a little bit newer, but but after all, dragon tattoo is going to be a solid B tier skin. Next up we have a pink Dedebat. I like the color, I like the concept. This is just a little bit boring to me. And that's why we're going to put this on top of C tier. Actually, it's close to B, but it would need something more to be on B tier skin. For next clock skin, we have Wastelander Rebel. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Waste land rebel skins on this or even on AK. Yeah, somebody might like the like uh, graffiti vibe here, but it's not clean. This is factory new and it's uh, and it have lots and lots of scratches all around. And for that reason, we are going to put this on C tier right here top C, top of C tier but 
I don't know, this red skin. Luckily, we have better red skins now, nowadays. So, yeah. And now we have a clock fade. This is like a Ferrari of clock skins. To be honest, this is absolutely the best clock skin. It's shiny, it's classic, it's old, and it's like uh, the most valuable clock that you could have. And it's beautiful if you have good fade and you can build incredibly awesome sticker craft on this skin. And that's why we have to put fade on a S tier and it's gonna stay there at the top. And now we have a little bit of a downgrade, but not much actually. Ramses reads. This is cool skin. I like the eye here. I like the like view what it had top of this gun. And it's not boring. There is this is quite nice actually. And that's why we are going to put this on quite top of a B tier. And B tier in my papers is good. There is nothing trash here. Just solid good skins. And next we have a quite old skin, water elemental. And I have had this skin for so long. Myself, I have this on Statrek, and on this skin, I like the color. But, but to be honest, this is not top tier clock skin. But for myself, I like this a lot. And even with my personal preferences, I have to put this on top of B tier because this skin doesn't belong on an A tier. And next we have Daddy's Money, Franklin. <laughs> yeah, I like the concept, it's fun. But if you use this skin for a long time, this will get you bored hardly. And you have this skin only if you are grown with the rich parents for sure. And that's why we are going to put this on C tier, top C tier, it belongs there. And next we have a clock 18 from Kashe collection, my one of favorite maps. I hope it comes soon on CS2. Yeah, it's fine, a bit boring. There's the nuclear vibe here. But overall, this is also skin. If you use this long period of time, you will get bored. Yeah, good solid C tier skin. It belongs there. And next we have Weasel. Uh, this is a fun looking skin. I like this. And uh, if you have this as your clock skin, you are a pretty friendly person, I'm sure about that. And I'm gonna say this is proper B tier skin for me. And next we have Gamma Doppler. Of course, there is so many different phases of this clock, but all the Gamma Dopplers look good on CS2, and I like this. It's shiny, colorful, and it's not basic. And that's why I think we have second S tier skin. It just look so good on CS2. And for next skin, we have a red tire on new Vertico collection. And this is fun. Color is a bit boring. But overall it's 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 fine. Nothing special here. But because we don't have anything special, 
with this skin, I have to put this on kind of bottom seat here. And next we have winterized, hella boring skin. Only cool thing about this skin is here on the back of this pistol. This is kind of shiny on a proper lighting, but this is so boring skin. The colors and basically there is nothing. Few letters here and there, but yeah, boring. And that's why this skin goes to quite bottom of D tier. And third last skin, we have a grinder. This is a sleeper skin. Absolutely beautiful. It's shiny and there's tears like a little color spots. Those are so cool. And for me, this is one of my favorite clock skins in this game. And that's why I'm gonna put this on bottom of S tier. For many of you guys, this might be a little bit controversial, but I like this skin a lot, a lot, a lot. Our second last skin is a Royal Legion. I like the colors here, like old school vibes, like uh, 60s, 70s with these colors. And I like the texture on this metal. Also, quite a good overall skin. And that's why we are going to put this on solid B tier. And it's time for our last skin. Clock 18 of Rage. Rage. I don't know. <laughs> this is getting long. And luckily, this is last one. This is uh, kind of same vibes with the iron work, but yeah, it's f okay, fine, bit boring. There's nothing special, boring colors, yeah. And that's why this is going to be next to iron work, the tier skin. All right, now we're finished with our first tier list with the skins. I'm quite happy on our results, what we have here. On a S tier we have Fade, Common Doppler and Grinder. All three solid skins. This Twilight Galaxy is debatable, but it's top of A tier, which is nice. <laughs> and if you like this video, uh, please like, subscribe my channel comment what uh, gun you want to see next. Yeah, see you next time.